crazy thing to do Just to stand and look at you That's amore Viva Las Vegas Viva Las Vegas Six, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're continuing our exploration of the history of music in Las Vegas. If you're new here, I've left links to the previous episodes in this series in the description. Today's video covers the 1990s, the time in Vegas' history that will see the city lose some treasured icons and rediscover and reignite the love for live music. Throw on some flannel and grab some coffee, because the era of grunge is upon us. <laughs> If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share, and uh, yeah, let's go. Just like the ending of the movie Casino, remember me mentioning that? Remember the movie Casino Kids? Las Vegas was changing from an entertainment destination to a family destination, with seven famous hotels being employed to make way for the new wave of themed mega hotels ranging from Excalibur to Paris. For new musicians and those that hung on through the 80s, this meant new opportunities to play music. Unfortunately, that music would be constant repeat performances of top 40 music in venues aimed at attracting families, or gigs playing in the pits of new family-friendly shows with six-month contracts that could be canceled any time if the show didn't draw a crowd and went under. Oh boy, thanks for nothing! This left many musicians feeling replaceable and their employment tenuous at best. But all was not lost in our city, dear time travelers. One year after the lights on the strip dimmed to mark the passing of Frank Sinatra, Barbara Streisand's New Year's Eve concert in 1999 at the MGM Grand, that's right, the one with the fire in 1980, would be the highest grossing concert ever. Here comes the money! Live music was back, baby, with visionaries like Bob Dylan saying, Las Vegas is the hip new scene and the passion for live music back, the stage would be set for the 2000s, which we'll cover in our next video. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope we'll catch you on the final video in the... Nope, three, two, one. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and that we'll catch you on the next video in the series. In the meantime, please consider clicking a link in the description to help out the channel. If you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please click down here and don't forget to ring the bell so you'll be notified when new videos get posted. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time in Room 6.